it came from, uh, it just, you know, out of the blue. It was a phone call from Paul Feig. Uh, I never saw myself or had any ambitions to, to be in a comedy. I love comedies as a spectator. Uh, but, I, you know, you're always apprehensive about doing something and, you know, pushing yourself into something that maybe the director doesn't want you in is not the way. I think you have to get the call from the director and, you know, he he, he, he was a big fan of Crank. Okay. And so uh, <laughs> that was one of the main reasons that he, he saw me, he saw some comedy potential in there. <laughs> I mean, I, I, when I wrote it, I wrote it definitely for him, but then was worried, yeah, I don't know if he'd want to do it. You, you see the Crank movies, and you go, yeah. okay, he's funny, and he's having fun with himself. So I, I had a feeling he might be open to it, but then, you know, when, I, when, he, when he came on board, I know he was a little nervous about it, but it was more that he wasn't sure what I was going to do, and if he could trust that I wasn't going to make him just look look dumb, you know, or look silly. And, it, you know, I said, no, we're going to treat this dead serious. You treat it like it's any one of your other movies. We're just going to give you kind of funnier things to say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I'm a big fan of action movies, always have been, and, and I always wanted to figure out how to do a comedy with real action in it, but still, how do we make it funny within it without, without making it silly so that you don't believe it's happening you don't get invested in it and so uh i mean i, I think casino royale you know the daniel craig movie is a, i think that's the one of the best action movies ever made because it has real characters and, and the the way that they shoot the action is very geographically pleasing you you know there's been this whole thing about all the shaky cam and all that i don't like that because i when i see see stunt scenes i want to see those stunts i mean that's why i love hong kong movies because they really showcase what people are doing and i think so many action movies are trying to hide the fact that the actors or the stunt people can't do what they want them to do but i'm like let's get people train them how to do it and then see the bodies in motion and so i i, I had so much fun doing all the action in this film I like to do everything. I mean, I, I, I do everything that they'll let me, you know, until somebody, until, until somebody walks in going, no, 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 you're not, you're not doing that. But I think it's important. I think it's the same way, you know, Jason feels the same way. He's like, it's, I think you can feel it. I mean, I, they're amazing stunt women, don't get me wrong. But I think for the character and for me and for the audience, I think it's always best if you can to do it. And, and I like doing all that stuff. I, for some weird reason, like throwing myself around. So I don't know, I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm insane, but. Uh, a lot of the modern sort of action movies I see, you know, Marvel comic sort of things. I just think it's just a, any guy can do it. I have no, no ambition. I mean, I could take my grandma and put her in a cape and they'll put her on a green screen and they'll have stunt doubles come in and do all the action. Anybody can do it. I mean, they're relying on stunt doubles and green screen and, you know, $200 million budgets. It's all CGI created. So to me, it's not authentic. I'm inspired by old, real star uh, guys that can really do their thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Jackie Chan movies. I love Hong yeah. Kong movies. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very influenced by, by sort of, by just the Kung Fu <laughs> sort of element of things because I think it's, it's so visceral and, it, and it's about humans. I, I like anything to do with kind of people, you know, and, and that's why a car chase is, I love car chases, but you really need to find a way to, to bring the people out of the car chase and not just vehicles running around doing things. Like you have to, I, I want people to know there's a human inside of it. Yeah, well, I think he's shooting real women. I think he's, I think he's developing and writing and directing real women, three-dimensional characters, and they're, they're always going to be more interesting. I mean, if you, if you don't give someone quirks and ticks and flaws, what are, what are you, what are you going to, how do you portray a character that has, that only sits there pleasantly, you know, with, yeah. with well-brushed hair and nice clothes? It's not very interesting. You know what? I think Scott Atkins is possibly one of the the most gifted sort of fighters. He's incredible. Uh, you know, uh, above and beyond. The, you know, with, when we start talking about you know Jet Li and Donnie Yen, 
uh, Jackie Chan. But, uh, you know, there's, in terms of the modern action films, you know, some I like. I, I really, really rate Tony Jaa. I think he's just, again, a, the real deal, an exceptional talent. say action stars uh, you know I've worked with a lot of them now you know Sylvester yeah. Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and you know it's great to be a, you know across and see look there's Harrison Ford and there so it's it's great to rub shoulders with these people Bruce Willis uh, these are all big big movie stars but the era before that are the the people that I got introduced to from my parents you know like Steve McQueen you know he was a good motorbiker he was a great race car driver you know, Paul Newman, uh, people like that, uh, you know, Charles Bronson you mentioned, Clint Eastwood, Burt Lancaster, Kirk Douglas. These are the people that I grew up looking at. My mum and dad, they were, you know, big fans of all these as actors and they just pushed me into that and, you know, you become, you, you get your taste from their taste.